good afternoon students uh, myself sanat kumar swain and uh, we will be uh, going to discuss about the concept of marketing management last class we have discussed about uh, just the introduction uh, of marketing management what do we mean by marketing how it is uh, different uh, between uh, what are the differences between uh, sales and, uh, and marketing how do we uh, differentiate between sales and marketing today we are going to uh, discuss about the various concepts which are uh, related to marketing management so uh, this is something uh, if we recapitulate uh, from the previous chapter that uh, what is a marketing management it is a fundamental business concept uh, aimed at creating uh, promoting delivering and products or services and it is one of the very important uh, function for businesses because it uh, that connects the target audience and it also help to generate revenue for any organization so we'll be looking at a uh, few key components and various concepts which are associated uh, with uh, marketing customer orientation why do we need to look at customer orientation who are customers why much importance has been given to the customer in marketing management obviously uh, the customers are the the center of gravity of for any any kind of organization any kind of business and uh, customer orientation must be uh, given of utmost priority because uh, a satisfied customer is very important for any kind of marketing okay uh, to create uh, to maintain strong uh, customer relationship is very important so there has to be a sense of bonding between the uh, between the uh, between the organization or and the customer so customer orientation is extremely important in terms of uh, delivering um, ma marketing management so uh, if we see this slide we, we can see that the, the first one is customer oriented approach and the second one is product oriented approach so what what do you mean by customer oriented approach and and uh, and product oriented approach uh, various organizations have got various kinds of strategies marketing strategies so some organizations they uh, put more emphasis on their customer oriented approach so if if we see the customer oriented approach we will see that uh, they give most importance lot of importance has been given to their customer or customer needs okay, and their customer satisfaction okay. whereas if we if we see the product oriented approach we will find that the most of the focus has been given to product launching okay, uh, sales and marketing okay, um, uh, um, how to do more production how to generate more sales okay so uh, in the long run that is going to uh, definitely that is going to hamper the overall growth of the organization if we are if we are very product centric rather than we should be customer centric the organization should be customer centric it should be customer oriented approach should be given importance so that that is going to help the cost, uh, organization in the long run product service development okay uh, most of the many organization they uh, they um, they deliver a product or they deliver their services okay so uh, why there has to be a development for a product or there has to be a development for services okay. now you see um, uh, there is a saying that uh, uh, need is the um, in, in innovation is the requirement uh, mother of invention need is the mother of invention uh, but uh, uh, in today if we see today we will we'll find that uh, um, innovation is the mother of needs if we consider few years back we will find that a uh, lot of uh, uh, gadgets or lot of uh, uh, electronics uh, stuff which we are using these days that was not uh, in the market and that was not uh, required at all okay 
But as because there are a lot of innovations, a lot of uh, uh, research has been done on the product and uh, particularly in the service sector, you will find that that has created a need in the, in the market. So, all the organizations what they need to do is that they need to develop certain products and they, they, should, uh, they should also uh, provide that uh, services which can, which can address the customer needs and problems. That may be any kind of uh, uh, research, that can be any kind of design, that can be any kind of offerings, innovations, okay. That should be, uh, that should create a niche in the market. So, while developing a product, what are the important aspects which we need to consider for? Now, when we are developing a product, a particular product will see that there has to be an idea. Some ideas has to be innovative ideas has to be uh, to be generated. Okay, so we need to evaluate that idea. We need to generate that idea. We need to screen that idea, and then there has to be a thorough gen detail investigation. A thorough detail investigation must be done on that particular idea whether that is going to be fruitful in the long run or not. Whether we are going to achieve something out of that idea or not. If yes, then certain development must be done on that particular idea. How to develop it further? Subsequently, there should be a testing process, whether that is fruitful for the society, whether that is fruitful for the customers or not. If yes, then once that is done, then we can do the market launch. We can launch that product in the market. Okay. So this is all about the product development process. Now pricing. Pricing is very important uh, part in uh, for any kind of product or service. Now, how we need, how we are going to understand what kind of price should be uh, given for that, or for a particular product, or for a particular service. So there has to, there is a strategy. There, there is a pricing strategy, okay, uh, which may be, uh, which may be cost based price uh, pricing. Like we are procuring something, and there has to, there has to have a cost. Okay, there, there, there will be a cost for that particular product. So, based on that procurement process, the cost which are related to that procurement, definitely the cost, uh, the, the price uh, may go up or th that may go down. Now, value based pricing, what kind of value based product we are uh, releasing in the market. So, if that is that product is a, is a value based pr product, then the pricing is, will also differ, that may go up or that may go down. Next is competitive pricing. Okay, are we going? Are we going to uh, make a competition in the market? Are we going to make a competitive uh, product in the market? If yes, then definitely. If there are more competitors and we are going to compete with the with our competitors, then definitely that is going to uh, affect us uh, the pricing tag also. So these are all the uh, various aspects of pricing. So the one is cost based. Uh, what is the actual cost while uh, launching that product? Okay. What are the marginal costs? What are the break-even costs? What are the um, um, all the uh, uh, related cost for launching that particular service or launching for that particular uh, product that affects the pricing? Second is demand based. How much demand we have in the market? How much demand for that particular product is there in the market? If there is a demand, huge demand in the market, then definitely the pricing will go up. Competition based, whether there is a competition, whether we have lot of competitors in the market or we have less competitor in the market, are we going to uh, give certain kind of discount? We are going to reduce the price tag for that particular uh, product. We are going to, uh, I mean, uh, how we are going to compete with the competitor that all depends on the pricing that is going to affect the pricing. Others are like target, uh, uh, targeting the uh, uh, particular customers or targeting a particular area or uh, psychological if we are, I mean, uh, I mean, let's say uh, during time of Corona, you will find that many uh, vaccine uh, uh, manufacturers they, uh, uh, they, they, they produced uh, vaccines, okay. But uh, definitely that is, there is, they're not going to put the pricing 
definitely there is a competition there is a demand there is a cost base everything is there but there is some sort of ethical psychological values are there because there that that was a need of the uh, i mean uh, of, of of the society the product was really really needed in the society okay so in that case we are not going to put the pricing tax as per our requirement as per our need we are not going to do that there has to be a pricing cap for that particular product okay promotion promotion how how we need to do uh, promotion if we are going to uh, target a particular audience a particular market okay so how we need to promote our, uh, our our product or service so this can be done through multiple ways like this can be done through uh, various kinds of advertisement okay then that can be um, uh, there could be promotion method that can be uh, various kinds of communica communication methods are been uh, been um, used okay so various methods are been used to promote your product in the market okay so if you go through this slide we'll see that uh, marketing promotion okay so uh, we can do advertisement okay various kinds of advertisements can be done and there can be sales promotion okay most of the companies they they prom while promoting their uh, product they um, they give uh, sales promotions uh, direct marketing people go out in the market and they do the direct market marketing okay direct marketing money from uh, from the company directly to the uh, to the uh, to the market to to, to the audience okay. uh, public relation there has to be certain sort of public relation there should be personal selling so these are all the marketing uh, pro promotional strategies okay while launching a product place and distribution how we need to distribute how we need to uh, i mean uh, distribute a particular product what are the channels of uh, of this uh, distribution process okay uh, how we will ensure that this particular product or service is available to the customer these are very important uh, uh, role which, which plays in the um, aspect of marketing okay. uh, distributional channels are important the logistic uh, is also involved okay logistic management management is also involved okay so uh, this all plays a very important role in the overall aspect of marketing now there has to be a distribu distribution strategy when we are uh, doing the uh, distribution there has to be a distribution strategy uh, what are the strategies there are three strategies one is uh, exclusive distribution one is intensive distribution and the third one is selective distribution so what do you mean by exclusive distribution exclusive distribution means for example let's say a company or a an organization they are uh, producing and they are manufacturing a certain product okay now who is going to distribute it who is going to become the distributor for that particular product so that exclusive right has been given to a particular distributor if a company the manufacturer is giving a particular right i mean exclusive right to a particular uh, distributor then that is known as exclusive distribution I mean nobody else is going to distribute that pr uh, product that um, whole uh, right has been given to a particular distributor so that is uh, known as exclusive distribution now intensive distribution there is no limit for that intensive it, it, it can be um, the distribution can go to any store that can be uh, that can be any state wherever there is no restriction on any kind of distribution on that particular product so that is known as intensive distribution no limitation okay and selective distribution selective distribution means <coughs> it, uh, uh, selective uh, uh, a particular area has been chosen for particular distribution for a particular product so that is known as selective we are selecting particular area or a particular audience we are targeting a particular audience particular um, um, geographical location for our distribution strategy now segmentation how we need to segment okay segmentation means we need to segment it into fragmented okay fragmentation segmentation more or less okay so uh, how we need to segment a market okay. so there are various uh, characteristics on which we are going to uh, divide the market okay so what are that those
you see there are four types of uh, segmentation demographic geographic psychographic and behavioral segmentation so based on these uh, four we uh, segment the market okay and then the product has been launched or the um, the promotion has been done or that has been targeted based on uh, demographic segmentation based on the demography what kind of uh, um, uh, people are, uh, are present in a particular society or in a particular geographical location um, uh, uh, what kind of behavioral segmentation um, the, 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 the behavior their uh, psychographic their um, behavioral traits what kind of traits uh, uh, they are adopting what kind of uh, uh, way of lifestyle they are ad adopting so these are all includes uh, the segmentation types uh, while launching a product or while uh, targeting a particular market okay. targeting okay. what do you mean by targeting let's say once the market uh, segments are ident identified okay, we have uh, identified a particular segment um, now how to target so if you go through this slide we'll see that target market product price promotion place so while targeting a market we have to see this this four important this is four p's also this this can be this four p's can also be uh, termed as the marketing uh, mix we'll be uh, discussing this marketing mix in the uh, subsequent slide so the four p's product market uh, sorry uh, price place and promotion so these four important uh, needs to be uh, discussed before we target a market what kind of product are we launching in the in a targeted market what should be the pricing strategy for that particular market whether the particular uh, targeted market has got a, uh, a huge buying power they have a purchasing power or not uh, place geographical location that is also important we we are going to uh, for example we are going to uh, launch uh, our uh, any product which is not relevant to that place so definitely that will fall so place is also important while uh, launching or targeting a market and promotion how we are promoting our product in that targeted market that is also one of the important positioning positioning means you see uh, there are lot of for a particular product if we go into the market we will see that there are a lot of alternate products um, available in the market so what i mean what uh, uh, uniqueness we are uh, creating in our product by launching in the market so that that is going to compel the uh, the customer that's going to force the customer to 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 see our product which is something uh, different from the other competitors so are we, uh, that is known as positioning i mean we are going to position our product in such a way that that is going to attract the customer to uh, to get to know more about our product or um, to get interested uh, in purchasing our product so what important or what uniqueness we are going to uh, i mean uh, put in the, in the in our in our product or the brand so that is known as positioning so while using the positioning process various uh, um, factors need to be taken into account like uh, what are the competi competition identification when we are positioning our product we, we need to see that is there any competition in, in that particular market okay um, uh, what kind of product uh, product characteristics we need to study we need to analyze the, our customers okay, for that particular product we need to do a comparative analysis between the between our product and the existing products in the market we need to set out a unique positioning for our uh, product okay. we need to execute our a marketing plan we need to measure and evaluate the entire positioning process 
and then only we believe that that is going to be a uh, proper access positioning process will be successful for our particular product now marketing mix we have already gone through that uh, this slide earlier so product price promotion and place these are the four p's which also constitute as as a marketing mix okay we, we term this as marketing mix so these all uh, these four p's uh, also constitute the marketing strategy while while we are making any sort of marketing strategy these four p's, p's are being taken into uh, consideration uh, while launching the product also these four p's are also taken into consideration place product price promotion okay so which place we are going to uh, market what is the targeted market the place is very important second is your product what product we are going to launch in the market okay. whether there is a need for that particular product in the market third is the price what is the pricing uh, strategy what is the pricing tag for that particular product and promotion what kind of promotion we are going to do for that particular product so these are the four p's of marketing mix which we need to take into consideration now market research before launching any product before doing any kind of marketing we need to do a we need to research on that particular market market research is very important why do we need to uh, uh, i mean uh, research the market because uh, you see um, if we go to the case study of uh, uh, nano tata nano nano car you will find that uh, it's a very good case study um, you will find that proper market research was not was not done before launching that particular product the concept was very good the concept of tata nano was very good because it was the brain idea it was the brain child of uh, of um, tata ratan tata that everybody should have a four wheeler everybody should uh, i mean um, uh, should at least uh, prevent themselves from the heat from the rain and they should be at least comfortable sitting in the four wheeler that was the basic concept of uh, basic idea behind that uh, behind the launch of the tata nano but people took it otherwise people uh, the they as because they were not able to do a proper thorough market research what was the mind of the people what uh, people used to think about that particular uh, car because uh, uh, it could not meet the expectations of the people they expected uh, Tatan Nano to be uh, as equivalent to other cars in the market. Well, that cannot be done because we have to see the cost effective. You are getting a four wheeler in just one lakh rupees. So, how you will compare that uh, that car with other? Well, there was other issues also. Safety measures were also there. Safety issues were also there. So, what I mean to say is that uh, when a certain product has been launched in the in particular market there has to be uh, market research should be done uh, thoroughly that will make and that will help the organizations business organizations to make informed decisions and they can also refine their marketing strategies if required okay. so market research before going deep into the market research we need to first think which market we are going to target for secondly what are our objects objectives what are our objectives in targeting that particular market in launching that particular uh, product into the market whether there is a need for the market need in the market for that particular product sample sample should be taken into consideration while doing any kind of market research we cannot study the market as a whole but we need to take a particular sample out of the market while we uh, do any sort of market research next is execution we need to execute the plan we need to execute the strategy before launching the product into the market 
there should be a thorough analysis and proper interpretation should be done and then only we can uh, successfully do the market research and then only we can uh, get the product launch into the market now customer relationship man management crm okay. uh, this is also one of the uh, important aspect in terms of management uh, marketing management because we need to build up in any organization we need, you, you will see that we need to build up a relationship with the customer is very important so if that uh, relationship is positive and long term then that is that is definitely going to help the organization in the long run so the crm the customer relationship management involves various kind of strategies and tools in improving uh, the customer satisfaction see th customer satisfactions are very much important some organizations they give very importance to customer satisfaction some that does not give that much importance but if a customer is satisfied that is going to help you out in the long run you don't have to rely more on your uh, marketing strategies marketing uh, uh, because your customers are going to market the product for you if you have a proper satisfied customer base you have to make a base for your customers so to create a customer base you need proper customer relationship management without a customer relationship management you are not going to create a customer base and without a customer base you are not going to uh, i mean uh, launch any kind of new product without a proper uh, marketing strategy CRM how you need to uh, 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 take CRM into account how oh, there are various ways the first one is email integration you need to uh, I mean keep the, your customer uh, posted there should be follow-ups and projects if there is any if there is any kind of projects is related to your uh, your customer there should be proper follow-up and related to your products uh, to your pro projects documentation should be very important with your customers extremely important they should be email marketing they should be sales call there should be relationship management this all constitute your crm this customer relationship management which is very important for your any kind of organization now digital marketing okay what do you mean by digital marketing i don't think this is uh, though it is a one of the important uh, marketing uh, area marketing uh, strategy but i believe most of the students you will be aware of what do you mean by that uh, digital marketing okay. so this is a digital era this modern era is a digital era you will find that lot of uh, marketing has been done digitally rather than um, um, i mean in the past days when there was no digital marketing so you, that used to be well, but right now you will find that there are online advertisement is, are going on social media platforms are there uh, content marketing has been done email marketing has been done a lot of lot of digital channels are there where you can uh, uh, digitally market your products sitting at the comfort of your office you can digitally market worldwide you don't have to go physically and launch your product other than you can sitting in the comfort of your office you can digitally market your product So these are the few uh, uh, things by through which you can uh, market your uh, product influencer marketing people um, who have the uh, who have influence influencer you can hire some influencer to market your product viral marketing through word of mouth okay when something goes viral uh, that is also kind of a marketing mobile marketing uh, radio and tv ad advertisement that is one of the oldest way of uh, marketing digital marketing electronic billboards you'll find on the streets on the on the roads search in engine optimization what do you mean by search engine optimization seo this is one of the emerging field of digital marketing and a lot of uh, um, digital marketers 
they are working on SEO search engine op optimization search engine optimization is that see I'll tell you one thing um, when um, you go on Google and you'll find uh, on any any platform you'll find search engine and you type something you will see that there are list of uh, products okay uh, available now how that particular product uh, comes on the top why that particular products come on the top and some some are being ignored i mean we don't we don't even go to the second page of the of your uh, search google search we are satisfied with the first search why is it so because that is known as search engine optimization i mean your product has been put on the first page of the of the search okay. obviously there is a um, uh, there is an expense related to it there is a charge related to it but still uh, let's say if, if a customer uh, search for a particular product your product comes at the front of the page so that is known as search engine optimization your product has been optimized okay to the first page of the search uh, pay per click okay that is known as affiliate marketing also we we normally say it's an affiliate marketing so uh, you create your own um, uh, website uh, and uh, subsequently if a person if in any customer they're going to click on that particular uh, ad then you're going to get something out of it so that is also you can you can you can promote your product through pay per click ads and obviously social media marketing there are a lot and lot of um, social medias these days so you can you can uh, do your marketing on any kind of social media content marketing you can write up a content okay for your uh, particular product and um, uh, that can be also blogging that kind of thing so that is known as content marketing email marketing you can write up email to various uh, targeted audience that can also enhance your digital marketing so these are the few uh, uh, ways to uh, do your mar digital marketing now sustainability and ethics see when we do when we do any kind of marketing there has to be sustainability and ethical values ethical values and ethical norms should always be kept uphold it should we should not we should not i mean uh, i mean compromise on our sustainability and ethical moral values or else that is going to be uh, 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 that will create a lot of negative effect in the long run for sure so ethical considerations we have got a social responsibility in the place we are working or in the place we are uh, doing our business okay um, um, the businesses uh, are also expected to operate ethically and uh, so they are also required to demonstrate their commitment to various kinds of social and environmental issues um, which can also be termed as a um, corporate social responsibility but definitely we have a commitment place we are working the place we are doing our business okay we have a commitment okay. all the businesses should have a commitment to the look into the various social and economical issues so what do you mean by ethical marketing scheme number one is empathy okay now what do you mean by empathy empathy means deep understanding of customers need if you are particularly looking at the marketing what do you mean by sympathy can anybody tell me what is sympathy and what is empathy now what is the difference between sympathy and empathy it sounds similar though sympathy and empathy sounds very similar but there is a very a huge difference between uh, I'll cite an example I think uh, by giving an example you can better understand uh, in any organization let's say in any organization there's a uh, employee working and uh, um, the manager comes up to the employee and say look uh, mister your numbers is not going up you are not uh, performing up to the mark and I believe if uh, this uh, continues in the long run definitely that is going to uh, that is going to create a big problem for you in the future that is known as empath uh, sympathy though the, the manager understands and he is going to suggest you that look I have been watching your uh, figures for uh, 
for days and I'll, I'm, I'm finding out that your figures are not going up it is going rather going down so if you are unable to pick up with your figures then that is definitely going to hamper uh, you in your in your long run and that is known as sympathy sympathizing whereas empathy means that particular manager comes up to you and say look uh, I've been looking at your fi figures and I, I, I feel that there is a consistently there is a low figure your, your performance level or your performance figures are going low uh, may I know what is the reason behind it may I know what uh, why the figures are going down is there any personal problem which you can share with me or if I can help you out with any kind of uh, issue if you are facing so that is empathy there is a deep understanding you consider yourself in place of others in their place you are considering you yourself in their place and you are trying to understand what they, they need so empathy is very important in ethical marketing when you are doing any kind of marketing you should have that empathy towards your customer needs and demands what they re actually need so we can we can do that kind of marketing as per their need second is honesty you don't need to do exaggeration exaggeration in any kind of promotion or any kind of uh, manipulation is a big no we should never do that we should never uh, adopt uh, a dishonest way of uh, marketing that is very very dangerous in the long run and third is transparency they should be transparent nothing uh, hidden cost you know lost a lot of uh, companies they have hidden cost why do you need to have hidden cost? Why can't we be transparent? Because if we are not transparent now, I'm, I'm sure, pretty sure that we are going to lose that customer in the, definitely in, in the future. And that particular future is going to hamper our more potential customers. So there has to be a transparency. If this is what it is, that's it. There's nothing beyond this. This is what it is. Okay. So we have to have a transparency between our business and the customers we are dealing with. Next is promise keeping. We should have genuine intention to fulfill all the promises which have been given to the customers okay, during any kind of promotion. If we are giving any kind of uh, promise to our customer, then definitely we need to put keep that promise that is very important sustainability what kind of sustainable approach we are adopting uh, in the place we are operating are we committed to the public are we committed to the environmental and social well-being how we are going to sustain ourselves through various sustainability approaches so um, to CSR activities. CSR activity is also one of the beautiful way of ethical marketing. Okay, once we are into, uh, uh, we are committed to the public, environmental, social well-being of a particular place where we are operating, then definitely that is going to be a very very helpful way of ethical marketing in, for our business organization. Okay. Lastly, we need to have a marketing plan. What kind of marketing plan? It is the overall plan which outlines our goal, what should be our strategies, what should be our tactics, what should be our methodology to which we are going to achieve our marketing objects. It serves as a roadmap. Okay, what are the hurdles which we are going to face during the our achieving our marketing plan? marketing activities okay um, um, how we are going to achieve it okay so the a complete outline a complete outline of the entire uh, strategy uh, may be termed as a marketing plan and that is very important extremely extremely important to have a marketing plan before we actually execute our marketing strategy into the so we need to have a marketing plan Now, strategic marketing plan. Um, well, 
you you may have different uh, uh, marketing plans for your different uh, organizations many different organizations have that different marketing strategies so we cannot rely on this particular uh, strategy that uh, this is the complete uh, marketing strategy and this has to be followed for every uh, particular organization no that is not so every organization has got their own marketing plans and they can adopt their own plans there is nothing wrong in it but uh, uh, if we go through this slide we'll see that uh, there, sh there should be strategic direction should be there uh, proper sales management should be there proper marketing communication should be there proper proper marketing analytics should be there so properly we should analyze uh, um, proper marketing skills before we uh, apply the strategic marketing plan in the market now with this we have come to the end of the slide that uh, summary okay so uh, marketing uh, marketing is a continuous process okay. um, it's a evolving process okay. it's not a static it, 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 it continuously evolves okay. very volatile okay. because it has been shaped by various factors uh, few years back uh, the, the way uh, the marketing strategies used to work they may not work right now or they may not work in the in the coming years as well because our society has been changed our the, the consumer behavior has been changed the technologies are taking sh new shapes okay there is a competitive atmosphere the competitive environment is changing day by day okay so we have to understand the market dynamics the market dynamics should be understood by us for every organization before they enter into any kind of marketing strategy or marketing management before delving dive we are diving into the market we need to understand the market dynamics what the what are the consumer behavior of the, that particular time what kind of technologies are being used at that particular time what is the competitive uh, landscape at that particular time this all everything is going to uh, put a uh, effect on our marketing strategies so uh, it is a very volatile and it is very uh, i mean uh, evolving process marketing cannot be stagnant it is, it is completely evolving every every day we have to study the market dynamics before we can we can understand it, how we can get into the market and uh, uh, thank you very much um, thank you very much for this